So uh, let's talk about what we're going to do when we set up this game. Uh, to start with, we are going to be, of course, playing on Deity. Uh, I'm going to do some fun things. I'm going to give myself a little bit of an advantage that I wouldn't otherwise have as Canada because I'm going to... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what was the map type? We're going to do a pan... Geo game. Nah, continents, island plates. Let's just do a Pangea game. We will start on a standard map size, but we're going to do something a little different. We're going to have a cold world, so there'll be more tundra and less desert. Mastered God just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Mastered God. I really appreciate that, dude. Uh, so we're going to be starting in a cold world just to give us that little bit of an advantage as uh, old Wilfred here. And of course, we'll do the, the normal stuff. We'll have a wet world with a new world age, just so we get to have a few more volcanoes. And we will go to maximum, sorry, maximum disaster intensity. Uh, we'll go up to 16 city-states. Seems like a pretty good number. All right, that seems like a pretty good setup. Deity, standard game speed, ancient era start, Pangea, new world age, cold temperature for more bad stuff. Love Real Canada, miss them being my neighbours. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Just completely random. We'll get started. Hey Potato, hope you have a good stream. Sorry for the annoying donations during your last stream. Let's play. <laughs> Thanks, soccer man. It actually made it kind of funny and I, I really enjoyed it. Thanks, I really appreciate it, dude. Hey, what's up, Ray Dogan? How are you doing, buddy? I'm good, thank you for asking, Ray Dogan. Really appreciate it. Good to hear that you're good. Is chat showing up? Test. Chat is not showing up on the video. That is unfortunate. Why is that? Um, widgets. Oh, there it is. Wasn't showing up there for a minute ago. Am I giving a rundown on the Civ slash leader again? We'll do that once we're in the game. We'll talk about his bonuses and how we want to try to play around him. Oh, dear. Uh, anyway. So to start with, uh, the Canadian Empire. I just got finished your first episode of Hungry and saw that you were live on Twitch. Been watching your videos, Civ videos on YouTube, but never got the time to watch your streams until now. Man, thank you so much, Master God. I really appreciate that, that you would stop by. Come check me out when we're doing some live stuff. That's not the real first episode of Hungary. He is correct. We had some unfortunate circumstances happen. I had some... I had a rough time trying to get a Hungary game recorded. Every single time something awful would go wrong. Anyway, so let's take a moment here to talk about Canada. Uh, the Canada's first ability is the last best west. This allows you to build farms on Tundra, which is... Eh, it's okay. After civil engineering, you can build farms on Tundra Hills. Eh, again, it's, it's reasonable. It makes Tundra less awful. Uh, reduces the cost of purchasing snow, snow hills, Tundra hills, and Tundra tiles by 50%. That's pretty good, because we might want to use some of those tiles. Plus 100% extraction rate of accumulated resources on snow, snow hills, Tundra hills, and Tundra tiles. This is a pretty decent thing. Uh, it means we're going to be able to expand our borders financially. It means we're going to be able to get food and grow cities where other civilizations may, might struggle. We are going to suffer from production because Tundra has really bad production, but we'll, we'll hopefully sort of navigate our way around that. Uh, we also have the four faces of peace. That means we cannot declare war on city-states or surprise wars. That's a big one. We're going to have to use um, joint wars, denunciations, alliances, all that sort of stuff. And we can't get rid of a city-state if it's being annoying. But we can't go to war with somebody who's the suzerain of a city-state in order to take them out, if we so choose. Uh, the other one is for every 100 tourism per turn, we get one diplomatic favor. And we get plus 100% diplomatic favor for successfully completing an emergency or a scored competition. That's going to be something we're going to try to play around a lot in this game. We're going to try and get a lot of tourism. We also have the Mountie. It is a Canadian unique modern era unit. It can create a national park. That's really powerful. It has plus five combat strength when fighting within two tiles of a national park. Eh, it's okay. An additional plus five combat strength when fighting within a two tiles of a national park you own. 
eh, again. Sort of a eh unit. The cool part is that it can create national parks and we're going to hopefully take advantage of that as much as possible because usually the big bottleneck for national parks is getting enough naturalists. Uh, and the final, and frankly, the most fun bonus of the Canadian Empire is the ice hockey ring. Unlocks the builder ability to construct an ice hockey ring, unique to Canada. It's plus one amenity, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, tundra hills, snow and snow tails tile. Provides tourism from culture once flight is unlocked, and plus two food and production once professional sports civic is unlocked. Plus four culture if it's adjacent to a stadium building and can be built on tundra, tundra hills, snow and snow hills. So, sort of what I'm getting from reading all of these bonuses, we're going to have to talk about... So let's let's talk a bit about the general sort of themes of the strategy that we're going to want to go for here. We are going to want to leave a lot of room. We're going to want to leave a lot of room to make national parks. We are going to want to build entertainment districts and we're going to want to build stadiums and ice hockey rings. We are going to want to generate a lot of tourism with great works because we can get more diplomatic favor and sort of influence it that way. And we're going to want to try and make up for the really bad production of living in this really awful tundra. So, my, in, my immediate thought, my immediate thought is that I want to move towards the salt and get it online at ASAP because it's going to be pretty much the only source of production and food and gold in this city for a very long time. So I'm going to move here and reveal more. And I think that initial impression holds true. So I think I'm going to move away from these nice deer tiles and all these other nice tiles, try to move towards the salt and settle beside it so that we can uh, take advantage of this. And there's also some nice grassland tiles out here. I could settle on the salt, but what I want to do is I want to immediately research mining, immediately build a builder. We might be able to squeeze a unit in before the builder. We'll have to kind of think about that. But for now, we're going to settle right here and we are going to work the salt. Well, this represents an interesting choice here. Uh, we do have access to this nice tile over here. Okay, I could go ahead and try to build a fast slinger. How fast can I get mining? It would take me 10 turns. I could build a builder in 10 turns. And then I could get this mine up. And then this tile is superior to this tile. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So that lines up nicely for me. And I normally wouldn't go for this sort of strategy, but every tile matters when you're playing uh, Canada. One redeeming factor we have here is we can do a lot of chopping to, uh, to try to boost out settlers. There's the Upsunter Hollow. I wish I had settled just a little bit closer to this, but it's still a good natural wonder. We can turn this into a national park. So we are going to want to settle carefully. And we're going to want to spread out a little bit more than we would normally spread out so that we can secure good national park locations. If you settle on the salt, you won't get it. I've tried dev 10 different starts with Santa that I never got any tundra. I gave up. Say Basil would be, would be a welcome wonder later on. Uh, it would be nice to get, but it's not something I'm going to particularly go for um, just because it's at a pretty awkward spot in the tech tree if we do get it I would be very happy but it's just kind of in a, in a weird spot so we're going to go mining into astrology we definitely want to go for a religion this game because we want lots of faith as a uh, thing so that we can get the rock bands later on we want to go for a faith generation religion i'm going to explore down this way a little bit i might want to settle off tundra first because the ai is a little bit averse to settling on tundra so let's swing back up this way and head north how did upgrading and cleaning your computer go it did not go it never happened actually because we uh we had to do something else that day which was unfortunate but it is what it is there is a pair of geothermal fissures over here but unfortunately the tile that i would want to put the uh the campus on is uh is a luxury we won't be able to place it there hopefully this tile over here is open but it looks like it might just be more mountain what game match settings would you recommend to someone who wants to learn the game fast uh online speed on prince or king difficulty so this is a little bit unfortunate it's not the end of the world however there's a pretty nice uh, aqueduct in here as well. Okay. It's 
scout out this way. I want to find out more information. I almost have enough gold to buy this tile. One more turn and then I can get a 2-2 tile, which is far superior to this tile. That we're currently working. And there it is. It automatically grew to it. We will work that for sure. I'm happy with that. So not a total crap start. What uh, potato McQuiskey bias equals guarantee. I'm glad I can watch someone that still plays Civ 6. Well, there's lots of us who are playing Civ 6. The game mechanic is actually streaming right now, and I would definitely recommend you guys check his YouTube channel out. He streams pretty damn regularly. Uh, a few, few times a week, as far as I know. There's mining. And now, the turn before we grow, we have a tile that's pretty reasonable to work. Um, we are going to want to think about bringing this builder around and seeing if we can cut down this stone and put a regular mine on that because the mine will scale better. We also might want to look into improving this uh, thing. I think I'm going to save up and purchase this because this is actually a little bit better than the salt. Now we're going to get ourselves a, a second warrior here. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to grab a Settler. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab the Settler. Because I want to settle cities early and I don't feel threatened. There's no immediate threats. I would have loved to have gotten around here. But it's looking like this is a pretty closed system. Are there alternatives? No. So my best move is to just start walking around and looking to improve these two tiles. We did find that. So we have enough now to purchase this great tile, and the best part of it is it gives us culture. So these are two pretty decent tiles that we picked up in the early game. This little bit of grassland hills in here is going to be a major boon to our economy. We might want to, later on, it might be worth it to put a couple lumber mills here. Or not lumber mills, um, things, because this could make a, uh, put a forest here and make a, um, what do you call it? Natural park. So there is Catherine. So I definitely want to try to settle up towards Catherine and block off this um, pass. And I'm thinking right there is the spot to do it because this will make it very hard for her to attack into me from this direction. I'm thinking I will have bar problems from the Tundra. I will, but uh, hopefully not for a little while. So I want to get my Pantheon really early, but the production lack is really, really high in here. So I'm, I think the God King is, it's too important to get the Tundra Pantheon here in this game. So I think I will go for God King and uh, slot in the Discipline promotion. A free recon unit. This is very helpful, actually. Now, we, uh, I'd like to get the Oracle if I could. So we may see about that. Let us keep exploring. Ah, of course there is a barb camp there. Of course there is. And it looks like France is taking care of it. So I want to kind of sit in position and see if I can steal this with my uh, scout. It's not looking totally likely. We'll give it a shot though. Might hit it just one more time. And that's a steal. Some error score, some gold, and a boost towards military tradition. An easy steal indeed. So we just got astrology. Uh, now we want to pick up animal husbandry in case there's some horses over here that we might want to purchase. Um, the other important thing is we want to decide where we want to put our holy site. So if there's a national park, I'm going to start using pins. If there's a national park going here, where the national park sign is right here. There. This will be a national park later on in the game. 
it'll be a very nice national park. Now, if I were to settle here, there could be a national park there. That would coincide very nicely. And then I could put a seaside resort, uh, a ski resort there. So I'm thinking uh, it's probably more important to make sure that I block out the actual tiles that are going to be national parks later. So then there's going to be a national park here and here. Be two nice big national parks. Guten Tag, Kartoffel. Damn chat is quiet. They are quite quiet. They are quite quiet. So we're going to get both of these quarries online, even though quarries aren't quite what I want. So we're going to keep you parked here just to keep an eye on these French soldiers. Oh, how did you spot me already? You can't even see my city. You're off here in the fog somewhere. It's not a big deal. I have a warrior coming around to assist. Let's keep exploring a little bit. I'm going to want to, I'm going to, want to settle over this direction as well. Um, now, in terms of holy site, I could buy this tile and get a plus four holy site, but I need to be careful. The plus four holy site, this would eventually become a plus ten holy site, so I think it might be worth it to do this. I do lose a forest chop to it, but it's a plus four holy site. It's real good. And we can always turn this section into a national park right here. So I think we will purchase this, place the holy site, finish the settler. And then we will put the quarry down. That will give us a 2-3 tile. So I want to make sure I secure this. Oh, come on! A barb camp right there for real? What is that? What is that place for our barb camp to spawn? Now I have to delay my settlement. ay 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 Whew, off to a little bit of a bad RNG start. We're going to have some trouble um, defending this holy site. Can I purchase a unit? I can purchase a warrior soon. That is a very, very obnoxious place for a barb camp to spawn. I am going to have to use my scout to defend as well, to defend my holy site, which I'm not happy about because I would like to be exploring and finding out more about the world. And now he stands exactly where I want to go. He's going to make my warrior weaker. So I have to like do this. It's really, really annoying. And then he's going to spawn a unit. Make my life harder for no reason. See if I can encourage him to run this way. Run left. Run left. Don't. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we want to settle right there. Because this will block this off, and I don't have to worry about France coming from this direction. And then we can settle over here and have control of this area. Uh, I'm going to get you to pop back into the city and heal for a moment. And I could pick up archery, but more importantly, I'd like to reveal iron. Hmm. Let's see. Being able to harvest this deer would serve me well in the near future. I have animal husbandry for that. Potato look, restart. It's a lot of defense. It's really not a lot of defense. <clears throat> so having chariots available could be useful to help me protect myself. So I think we're going to unlock chariots so that we have a unit that we can build. And uh, we are going to go for... Put some points into mysticism. I almost never go for the Oracle, but we're going to give it a shot this game. I need to find time to build units, and that's what the second city is for. It's mostly to build a few units to defend myself. Stonehenge is gone. Go here, we'll settle. That will kill this barb camp and prevent it from spawning anymore. We have the holy site now. You're going to defend the holy site. I really want the shrine. How many people are earning great people points? Too many. So we need, 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 need to work this. Unfortunately. We'll settle this city. And now we have a city. For real? Okay. And now we have a city that we can produce units from. 
I'm going to get a second warrior. It'll take 10 turns, but it should be fine. I'm worried about this French warrior over here. I'd love to park him there, but he'll take a lot of damage. I need you to defend this. Let's do a hit there. Do a hit there. We will choose the Tundra Pantheon. Oh no! Somebody took the Tundra Pantheon! Ah, that's really unfortunate. So not getting the Thunder, thun, Thundra Pantheon really, really hurts here. Who took it? What jerk took it? Right, somebody took it. There's no Tundra Pantheon here. Am I blind? Damn. Plus two faith from quarries is a nice alternative. It'll get me plus four faith per turn from here. Damn, 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 damn. I got that as soon as I could, too. Now, plus one food from camps is normally ass, like super ass. However, in this instance, it would make some of these tiles workable in the early to mid game. We have a few of them around. There's at least three in range of the capital, which would give us, the gro give us some good growth. Are there enough camps? There's another quarry over here. We'd need a new builder to really take advantage of that. So I think in the absence of getting that super overpowered Tundra Pantheon, we're just going to get faith from quarries. I think it's our best chance to get extra faith because we want to use this faith to purchase this great profit as soon as possible. Let's get you to heal up. Oh God, another barb. So we're, we're having some barb problems. We are building units to deal with it, but it just takes some time for them to get online. So if I move you out here, you would get attacked twice and then get a promotion. You would get attacked three times. So I'm going to wait another turn. We completed the Holy Side Prayers and we are now 16 of 60. I think I need another warrior, so we'll stop for three turns and get another one. In order to stop all this shenanigans. Let's do another attack, and then we can promote next turn and then attack the turn after. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to find time to build the oracle. Which sucks, but if I move here, I can bait both of these scouts into attacking you and then promote you next turn. And that should be an efficient set of moves. We'll have another warrior out. So if I'm putting the oracle somewhere that needs to go on a hill, I think I'm putting it here and then the theater square is like going there or something. And then the government plaza is like going here and then this city can use it for adjacency. So that's the sort of layout that I'm thinking of. Government plaza here, doesn't matter which city builds it. And then a theater square is going here and then the oracle is going here. And then this city would maybe do like a campus like encampment, something kind of like this formation. Have the city mostly be focused on producing units to defend myself and a little bit of science. So it kind of appeals to me. And then maybe a, a commercial hub or a harbor in here. So now we'll take the battle cry promotion. We have our second warrior to help defend us. Let's see if we can't take on that. We're going to do another holy site prayer because we definitely need to secure a religion this game. Two are already gone. There's eight sieves. And people are earning points towards them. The danger is Catholicism is already established there. Okay, now we want to pick up early empire. No sound from the game? There is sound from the game. Are you using the production from population mod? Uh, no. So we got rid of that barb. And now we really need to start dealing with all this stuff over here. Let's take that out. There's bronze working. We have the money to purchase a 
third warrior or a slinger. I think I'm going to get the warrior here. Because we are going to be struggling with a lot of barbs. I don't want to spend any more production on units. You fortify there. You move this way. The scout is just defending the holy site, preventing it from being pillaged. You attack there. We have another warrior coming out. So our military is looking pretty decent. We're going to pick up bronze working. So you can do that. You can move here. You're going to move here to block this scout from retreating this way. You're going to attack this scout. I'd like you to start working on a settler. But we are going to get a trader to hopefully trade with France. I totally forgot to send France a delegation, so she fucking hates me because I'm dumb. Um, but... We are close to securing the religion. So you move here to block him. You attack there. You move there. Okay, I'm feeling pretty safe. Go there. Barb camp right there is causing me problems. You're going to just fortify let him keep attacking you. Why do we need a religion? Because we want faith gain. We, want to use, we wanted to use our religion for faith gain. And religion is good for tourism because we want a, a religion that generates a lot of faith so that we can get... Um, what do you call those guys? Rock bands later on in the game? I'm going to get you to heal up. You're going to come here and heal up. You're going to heal up. So I'm going to get my troops to heal up a little bit. I really want the oracle, but I need settlers. How many religions are gone now? Three religions... If we don't get this uh, religion, it's going to be pretty bad for us because we've invested heavily to get it. But it is, uh, it is a thing that we can do. And now we're going to take the Exodus of the Evangelists, of course. You take a moment to heal. I need to get over here to take this out. So you get moving. You're going to protect this city. You're going to explore just that little bit. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's for... Um, we want faith generation for rock bands, basically. So after this, I should be able to purchase a great profit. Nuts. So all of the religion, all the great profits were earned. So that's actually like a big loss here. In the normal circumstances, I would actually just scrap this game uh, completely. I want to place that oracle here. It would take me 25 turns. That's way too many turns. Um, I would actually just scrap this game, uh, generally speaking. Full all life. No sound, you dingus. No sound, you dingus. There is sound. I can see the sound bars. I have it set pretty low. Can, why can't you hear the game sound? What the hell? But I can see the sound bars in my desktop audio. What? How can you not hear this? How, how can you not hear this? What the fuck? I can hear it and my OBS is showing that it's playing, but it's not coming through on the stream. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, my OBS is telling me that it's working. Let me... Like, my OBS is telling me it's working. I don't know what's happening. 
You can only hear me and mouse clicks. You should be able to hear the game because OBS is telling me that you can hear the game. I'm gonna just continue. And we'll have a look. God damn it, dogs, shut the fuck up. I wanna get our theater square up. So, in the interest of making the game interesting, Thank you so much, MB. This is awesome. Thank you very much. M M MB this awesome. They are in heat. No, they're just annoying and they like to bark. In the interest of making this game interesting, uh, we're going to go for the Oracle instead of a settler. We're also going to go ahead and move on for craftsmanship. We want to head up until political philosophy. I'd also like to get drama and poetry out early if I could. You don't hear announcements. How do you not hear announcements? OBS is literally telling me that it's broadcasting those announcements. I can hear the announcements and OBS makes the noise like... Is it lying to me? Ha um... Filters. There's a way to do this. Okay. How are you not hearing this? OBS is literally... It's telling me that it's broadcasting sound right now. Alright, i tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to call that the end of the first episode of the sort of live stream thing. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to take a moment to record, like test my stuff. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm literally only putting this into the live stream so that the people who watch my live stream VODs don't say stuff like, it's really weird when the video just fades out. I'm so used to getting an ending. Well, here it is, kids. Bye-bye.